The lights are about to go down inside the Grand Casino in Hinkley, Minnesota, where Legacy Fighting Championship number 60 gave us plenty of talking moments. Hello everybody, Michael Chevello, Pat Militich with you. Pat, it kicked off in extraordinary fashion. A six foot seven tower of power named Maurice Green knocking out Zach Thumb. Oh, Maurice Green, super good striking. Very straight punches, a great jab. Didn't get to show it off a whole lot because he decided to throw his shin bone up and take out his opponent. Thumb going to sleep from this, boom. Murray Green goes three and one. Zach Thumb falls literally to four and three. After a year's absence, Marcus Edwards returned and he was in full beast mode padded against Billy Christensen. This is why people don't want to fight him. Steps the angle, hook, and then the left hand drops Christensen and goes to work. Referee steps in to stop it. Billy going for the takedown there, but wouldn't have had that opportunity had the referee not pushed him off first. Big power out of Edwards. Edwards now 12 and four. Billy Christensen goes to 12 and six. Marcus Edwards back in a big way. Fight of the night performance from Nate Richardson absolutely destroying the legs of Nick Compton in their featherweight contest. And Nick Compton is no joke, a very tough guy, but Richardson with only five fights coming into this looked stellar. Every time we've seen him, he's really looked perfect. Michael has a very bright future with this organization and probably will eventually move on. But beautiful attacks, going low, going high. And with that one to finish, body shot, and then upstairs with the elbow. Nate Richardson now advancing to five and one. Compton's record now 12 and six. Dakota Cochran continues to look comfortable at welterweight and absolutely dominated Joe Seichelberger. Yeah, Joe Seichelberger not able to stop the takedowns like he had planned. Like I said, you can train for good, competent, strong wrestlers. But once they get a hold of you and put you down and grind you out, Cochran's so good at wearing people down and building momentum as fights go on. This guy's very good, very experienced. He's going to be around for a while longer, I'm sure. This was the legacy debut for Dakota Cochran. We've seen him before in RFA and Titan Fighting Championship. And what a way to start his legacy outing. Cochran now 26 and 10. Eichelberger 18 and 10. Main event, Brian Hadzin exacted revenge in a big way, doing a Picasso on the nose of Tyler East in the process. He, he, he did. He, he broke East's nose over to one side of his face and then put it back with another punch. Hadzin, just a rugged, tough guy with heavy hands. Hadzin goes 30 and 15. Tyler East 15, 6 and 1 no contest. At 25 years old, Tyler East calling it quits, saying that he's disappointed he never got a call up to the UFC. This fight, six years after their last one, Hedin gets his vengeance. <laughs> Folks, plenty more action coming your way on Access TV, your home for MMA and Muay Thai. Join us next Friday night for the Bomb Factory in Dallas when Ocho Peterson puts his world title on the line for the very first time.